the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Very welcome to St Mary's for this our Harvest Festival. Many thanks to our flower arrangers for their lovely uh, displays today and for Junior Church for, uh, for their displays, uh, which you can see hanging uh, from the front of the church today. So today is our Harvest Festival and we're giving thanks for God's gifts in creation, celebrating the beauty of our natural world and dedicating the gifts of our lives to God. But first we say sorry for all the things that we have done wrong. Gracious God, we have not loved you with all our hearts. We have not cared for others as for ourselves. In your great mercy, forgive us and help us to lead a new life in your service. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen.
Creator God, you made the goodness of the land, the riches of the sea, and the rhythm of the seasons. We thank you for the harvest. May we cherish and respect this planet and its peoples. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So we need to have our song number eight. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life 
more than food, and the body more than clothing. Look at the bird of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single power to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. As if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he no much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. This is the Gospel of the Lord. battery pack as I realised mine's house was uh, on uh, zero percent so that was a nice bit of use. So may I speak in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. So um, for the talk this morning I need, uh, I need a volunteer. So if anyone who would like to volunteer. Yep, yeah, brilliant. I'd like to come stand, stand in the middle here. That's lovely, that's great. Super, that's so now. So I've got a bag here, and can you see what it's a bag for? Yeah. What's, what's it a bag for? Um, worries. A bag for worries, so let's show everyone. It's a bag for worries, and uh, what's it at the moment? Nothing. So, and, and so, is, uh, is it heavy or light? No. Nice and light. That's good. So, um, uh, if we're not, if we, we might have a bag for worries, but if we've got no worries, we know it's nice and light. But I wonder whether there's anyone who really has no worries at all, or has never carried a worry. What do you think? What sorts of um, worries there might be? Now, uh, some worries are very big, some are small. So, you know, think about um, maybe a small worry that we might have. Being late for church. Being late for church. <laughs> oh, I think that's a big worry for me. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> so, um, small worries, so it's not. It's, not too too heavy, is it? So, <laughs> yeah. So you could you could carry a uh, worry about worry about, a small worry around for a while. That's that's really what it is. So, what other maybe sm uh, small worries? What's a little worry we might have day by day? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Oh, <laughs> will I like it? Is it my favourite? What do you think? That's yeah. So that's another. That's oh, okay. So. 
But some, some worries um, are a little bit more substantial than that. And what's another worry that, um, that you might, uh, might have? What's financial? Financial worries are doing the right thing. Whether we're doing the right thing. Now, those, those could be um, sort of ever present, can't they? So that's. So let's put in some <coughs> financial worries. It's a bit heavy now, isn't it? But, um, and doing the right thing. There we go. Why parents don't reply to WhatsApp texts about the acting club? Oh! <laughs> worries about people. Is, is that that's a medium or is that a large worry? I'm imaginary. <laughs> And what's, what are the large worries? What are, what are the really big worries? That health worries? Health worries, yes. Um, affects uh, us individually. Uh, uh, but many people have health worries. That's a... Any other? What's the really large worries that we might be carrying? Yeah. Death. Death! Goodness, that's a, that's a big one. And <laughs> a big worry. No, uh, a big worry in society. Many people are very worried about that. So, we know what ba our bag is full of worries, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, you can carry it, can't you? Still, just about. Now, would you like to carry it for an hour? <laughs> or a whole day? No, of course not. So we could, we could carry it. We could even carry really heavy worries. But in fact, we wouldn't want to carry them all the time. We, we can carry small worries, but even those, they start tiring us out, dragging us down. So, we need to say, don't worry. Now, sometimes it's um, easier to say, uh, easier to say than um, to do. Do you want to put down, yeah, put down the words? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, we it could be like uh, um, Corporal Jones in, in Dad's Army, who always used to say, don't panic! And obviously in a way that would panic people. And sometimes people could say, um, oh, don't worry. Uh, and in maybe in a sort of rather dismissive sort of way, and we might think, well, they don't really know. They don't really know what's at the heart of my worry. So somebody saying, don't worry, doesn't necessarily help us. But the times when it does help us is when somebody says to us, don't worry, and they really understand. And we can trust them because we know um, that they know um, maybe they've got a bigger picture or maybe they've experienced this before so that don't worry has real value and is a real help to us and so in our reading today Jesus says don't worry don't worry about so many things and why should we trust Jesus when he says don't worry well, he says, don't worry. And we know this is God who's not a remote God. This is God made man. This is God with us. This is Jesus who's in amongst the hard things of human life. We know that Jesus didn't have an easy life. He wasn't born into great luxury. He spent a lot of his... Um, uh, adult life, towards the end of his life, was on the road, and ultimately he knew he was going to his death. Death, that's uh, one of those big worries that he had. Um, so Jesus isn't saying this from the outside, saying, <coughs> don't need to worry. Jesus says, don't worry, because he knows the human heart, the human life. And so when he says, don't worry. We can listen to him and uh, we can trust him. But he says, don't worry, and he gives us two ways that we might, um, we might uh, think about. Uh, two strategies, maybe, for not worrying. And uh, those are wonder and abundance. The first of those is wonder. <laughs> now, um, I must admit, uh, 
uh, well, I, I, I was immensely disappointed. It's hard to say how disappointed I was not to be able to go running yesterday. And then actually, um, uh, Penny opened the curtains and, and I looked out and, and, and there were some goldfinches. They're actually some of my favourite birds. They're not massively rare, but I love the colours. I love uh, the way they uh, work together as a group. They're chatter, and that's gold, um, and, and the red on their cheeks. Also, the gold crest, um, uh, the goldfinch, uh, was often a symbol for Christ. So, gold, the goldfinch, seeing a goldfinch really, uh, really changed yesterday morning for me, when, when I might have just had a day of disappointment. And then a, a great spotted woodpecker uh, came and checked out all our small trees. It's all the ones that are closest by. So from uh, a day of disappointment, wondering, worrying what was going to happen next with, uh, with running, there was a moment of wonder. And what, what's it like for you? What's, has anyone got any other things? What's do you find, if you look around the world, it makes you wonder? So we've got some things that really uh, fascinate you or, or lift your spirits. Yes? Uh, there are some amazing sunflowers in the uh, front garden of the house, about four doors up from me. And every time I walk past them, I think they are extraordinary, and I have done absolutely nothing. Oh, so, so those sunflowers, that just there to, uh, are amazing and just there to, to be enjoyed. Yes. Anything else? What else do we might we wonder about? Um, if you walk down Leather Street and you look down the side of it, like you always do, on Park Road and so on, often in the evening, there's a magnificent sunset all the time. You look back down over the brook and, and away from your hill. Um, it's an incredible sight. We're actually quite high on the hill, and um, that's very good. Yeah, so across the urban landscape, uh, you can get this. Uh, our sunset opens up right on our doorstep. The different, different hues. So, so you get, and uh, you'll get a uh, those sort of bright blues, deeper blues, and and uh, the, the the shapes of the clouds moving across them as well. And a rainbow, yes. Yes, we might be able to explain it, but there's still something about it, seeing uh, the rainbow, that's, that's uh, is a moment of wonder, something that lifts our hearts. Yeah, the coast and the sea in Cornwall and the sunshine. Oh, the coast and the sea in Cornwall. So, um, uh, as maybe a specific place, it's that sort of combination. And Yeah. Oh, so just that that innate ability that, that we go to sleep and then we wake up again in the morning and and the new day is dawning. Those wonders of the the rhythms of our life that are, are set within us, planted in us as as um, God's creatures. So wonderful things, and I'm sure I will all have many other things that we wonder about. And Jesus says, don't worry. And he talks about the birds of the air, um, talks of the flowers of the field, all these things round about us. We heard in our psalm about uh, the, the wonders of the universe. So that spirit of wonder can help us, because it takes us out of ourselves but we see something, um, not random, but something of great beauty, of, of maybe a great simplicity or great complexity, but just something so different that is part of this wonderful creation. So Jesus says, don't worry for that reason. But then I mentioned abundance. <laughs> Because sometimes we might think of wonder about um, and the, the lily of the fields, and we can look at one particular flower. 
But, um, uh, but Jesus talks about the flowers of the field, the grass, all these things. Um, I think people have done a calculation that in a, in a square meter of grass, you might have 100,000 blades of grass. I think somebody, somebody's estimate was. Uh, in a meadow, there will be thousands and thousands of flowers and grasses in just one square meter. Now, um, and this is where the great reverse economics of God comes into play. I mean, we sometimes think the only and so many other things. If, if, if there are loads of them, the value goes down. But but that's not so with God, because each individual of that is a, a piece of great wonder. And we can fix together all the flowers of the field, and it's a vast array of wonder. So the more there is, the value doesn't go down, but the value increases. We're surrounded by this great wonder. So, we're led then to, um, to think of, of the wonder of the creation. So we look at the wonder of creation and it's so special. I wonder what, what would we tend to do if we have something that's really special. If somebody uh, lent you their most special object, how would you treat it? Anyone in the choir? Yeah. Yeah, you take great care with it. Um, you wouldn't just leave it any old place, you'd make sure um, it was, you treat it with the greatest care so you could hand it back unharmed. So we look at the world around us, this great wonder, and we know we are entrusted with it. And we need to take care of it, this place of wonder and abundance. But it's not just the world around us, God has also given us wonderful people, because we too are part of creation. And so we have this duty also to look after one another, and especially those who are vulnerable, which is why we're collecting today for homeless action Barnets and for Barnet refugees. This is such an important thing to do. We need to take care of the world around us, take care of all of those who are in need. But then Jesus turns this towards us as well. This is, we need to look in to ourselves in our lives that are often plagued by worries and doubts. Because we know that God loves us too. And that love is, that wonderful love, that abundance of love is directed in our direction too. God created everything. The, the seas, the mountains, the birds, the plants, the animals, humanity. And he saw that it was good. God beholds creation and sees that it is good. And that's the place that we live in now, despite the appearance of the world around us and its many troubles. Jesus brings to us, right to us, God's saving love, because he lives with us in our lives. So we have a choice then, whether to live in, with our heads and our bodies in this world of worry, or whether we choose to live within the horizons of God's love. Which doesn't mean that everything will always be plain sailing. Not at all, we'll still come across many worries that we might feel we need to carry. But those worries are not the last word, and not, the, not <laughs> the things by which we should live, because we can put down those worries, even in the difficulties 
of our world because we know that we are loved by God who will be with us in good times and in suffering too because we are always within his loving embrace. So let's stand now and uh, say together what we believe. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So, let us pray. <coughs> the response to the Lord of the Hearts is here our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life and breath, for the harvest here and around the world. Help us to appreciate all the gifts you give, Lord of the harvest. Hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the food on our tables. We pray for people who are starving. Help us always to be ready to share, Lord of the harvest. Hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for those who produce our food. Farmers and factory workers, help us to, to support them in the work they do. Lord of the harvest. Hear our prayer. Lord, bless HAB, the Barnet Refugee Service, and all those who will share the gifts we bring today. Lord of the harvest. Hear our prayer. Lord, you make our lives fruitful. Pour your healing spirit upon all of me that they may too flourish. Hear our prayer. Uh, Lord of the harvest, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> so let us stand for the peace. Peacemakers who sow in peace raise a harvest of righteousness. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us greet one another with a sign of peace. <laughs> Thank you. 
this bread we bring, we, we shall remember Jesus. Jesus. With this wine that we bring, we, we shall remember Jesus. Jesus. Bread for his body, wine for his blood, gifts from God to his table we bring, we, we shall remember Jesus. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is Christ, give thanks and grace. Lord of all life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You give us the fish of the, in the sea, the birds of the air, and every plant and tree the life that sleeps in the winter earth and awakens again in the spring. You made us all, each wonderfully different, to join with angels and sing your praise. So, Father, with this bread and this cup we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit and change us more and more to be like Jesus, our Saviour.
Let us pray. Lord of the harvest, with joy we have offered thanksgiving for your love in creation and have shared in the bread and wine of the kingdom. By your grace, plant within us a reverence for all that you give us and make us generous and wise stewards of the good things we enjoy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we have broken your bread and received your life. By the power of your Spirit, keep us always in your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Straight after the service today, there is our harvest lunch. So please do come and join us in the hall and share. And it's a, a bring and share lunch. Uh, you don't need to have signed up. Uh, you just need to bring yourself. Uh, so because uh, uh, there's always plenty. So do come along and join us in the hall. Um, we'll have a cup of tea and coffee first, um, and then gather all the, uh, the food together and uh, probably start eating lunch as we get to closer to 12 noon. Later on today there's the usual uh, Zoom evening prayers. Services during their week, uh, during the week are at their usual times. Next Sunday we have um, our prayers for healing at the end of the service. So there'll be the um, uh, box if you'd like to leave. Uh, I request if you can't stay at the end, but if you'd like to come directly after next Sunday's parish Eucharist and um, to uh, have people praying uh, for you and with you, uh, please do join us in the chapel uh, at that time. Um, winter shelter is coming up soon. Uh, begins for us at the start of November, but <coughs> we're still short of volunteers. So if you can help, please see Smita will be in the um, uh, South Island at the end of the service if you'd like to um, help with us, help with that. And if you are a winter shelter volunteer, there is Zoom training on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Um, I was looking at this earlier on. Although it says 7 o'clock Pacific time, I gather it is 7 o'clock British summer time. So do uh, uh, log on for that um, training uh, this Tuesday for Winter Shelter volunteers. Um, looking a little further ahead, uh, we have um, on the 7th of November, um, which is Thursday, a Dementia Awareness uh, session. Uh, will be held in the committee room and um, all are welcome to come along to that I think it's going to be a maximum of two hours so put that date in your diary um, and also uh, the, the day after that we have Elvis um, uh, who, and there are tickets Elvis will be with us in the hall on the Friday the 8th of November um, and see Sweeter um, to, to book your, uh, book your place at that tribute night. The Sunday before that is the start of our new Being With um, session, exploring conversations about Christian faith. It'll be great for those who know a lot about the faith and indeed those who want to learn more about the faith. It really is open for everyone. That's half past seven on uh, that uh, Sunday evening and the Sundays following. She's a cracker Sunday. Ah, the extra, extra incentive. Um, and that day is also All Souls, there'll be notices about um, All Souls and in the evening and uh, we'll keep All Saints in the morning. Um, thinking of helpers, if anyone would like to help with the school visiting us on the 15th of October, uh, Year 1 to come up in the afternoon, um, I've got a couple of volunteers uh, but there's room for more if you might like to help please do let me know. Um, looking uh, away ahead, there is uh, our retreat at the beginning of February. Um, and if you're interested, please let me know. It'd be good to get uh, numbers finalised 
Uh, we've got a good amount of uh, interest so far, so we know it's viable. But if you'd like to come away, uh, please do. Um, uh, if you'd like to know more, uh, we have a small fire. I'd be delighted to get more information. Um, uh, postpone. I've um, gone ahead and booked another run instead. So same distance, uh, but different place because um, uh, they, they, they don't pop up everywhere every every week. So uh, the new run will be on the first of December. Um, uh, this one is uh, the um, the New Forest Christmas Trails. Thankfully, thankfully they've got commercial Christmas, and it's way before Christmas. Um, so yes, it should be an Advent Trail, but um, uh, Christmas tra uh, uh, Trail. So that's first of December. Um, and uh, all the publicity is going to be updated. So if you felt you missed the boat on the uh, uh, sponsoring run earlier on, um, maybe, maybe that's why it had to be postponed. So. Uh, but thank you for all your support so far. And I'm um, still really excited to do the run um, at, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a slightly later date, but in better health. Lastly, sorry, so many notices. But uh, uh, please, um, if you can help with transporting harvest goods, um, uh, it'll, it'll be either be tomorrow morning or Tuesday morning. Um, uh, we just need somebody with um, a car and some reasonably strong arms so that we can load things up and, and uh, take them to um, have and <coughs> through uh, the Eustace's Gateway. Um, if you can help, please let me know. So now let's stand to sing our final hymn, uh, The Lord of the Dance. <laughs>
our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created and upon you, his children, that you may use them to his glory and the welfare of all peoples. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Amen.